Hello, world. I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas. Now, everyone that plays this game has dreams of going off to other worlds, building space stations, and floating colonies in extraterrestrial oceans. But before you can do any of that, you've got to get yourself up there. So, the first step in any successful mission is a successful launch, and I want to talk about what it takes to make that perfect. Now, I'm going to assume you already have a ship capable of getting into orbit. If you don't, you can watch some of my other videos to help you out. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. The lowest stable orbit you can achieve requires a speed of around 2,500 meters per second. However, it's going to take a lot more than that to get you there. The whole time you're launching, there are two factors holding you back. Gravity drag and atmospheric drag. Gravity drag is the speed that's lost due to the gravitational attraction to the planet. You can minimize this drag by going as fast as possible. Atmospheric drag, on the other hand, is speed that's lost to air resistance. In general, the faster you're going, the more drag you'll have. But this effect is dependent on the design of your ship and your altitude. So, these two factors force you to find a balance of speed. If you go too fast, you'll lose speed to air resistance, but if you go too slow, you'll lose speed to gravity. This means that any given height, there's an optimal speed for your craft. Obviously, this will vary from ship to ship, and you should test yourself to see what's best in your situation. However, here's a general outline. At 2 kilometers, you should be at about 100 meters per second. At 10,000 meters, you should be about 200 meters per second. At 20,000, you should be at 400, and at 30,000, you should be around 800. And after you get past there, Kerbin's altitude is too thin to really affect you, so you can just really open up the throttle. However, if you know anything about orbits, you'll know it's not just about getting up there. You have to have horizontal velocity to stay up there. This is where gravity turns come in. If you start to pitch over your ship while ascending, gravity will actually help your ship accelerate horizontally. This way, you're gaining vertical speed and height, as well as horizontal speed at the same time. Be careful not to start your gravity turn too early. If you do, you will not go to space today. The actual flight path you should take here is, again, dependent on your ship's design, and I would suggest messing around with it yourself. However, you should stay completely vertical until around 10 kilometers, and gradually turn to about 30 degrees by 32 kilometers. Now you'll notice a lot of people always launch west. You may ask, why is that? Well, consider this, when you're on the ground, are you truly still? No, you're not. You're rotating with the planet. So even when you're on the launch pad, you're moving 175 meters per second west. So if you launch west, you get that free 175 meters per second. But if you launch east, not only do you forfeit that speed, you have to cancel it out first before you make progress. So in actuality, you get 350 meters per second of free speed by launching west instead of east. So. Once you finish your gravity turn, you can hold your throttle until your apoapsis reaches your target altitude, which should be at least 70 kilometers. The next step is circularizing your orbit. In a perfect world, you could accelerate to orbital speed instantaneously at your apoapsis. However, that's not possible. You'll have to start burning a bit before. So, at around T-30 seconds, start burning exactly west. Keep an eye on how close you are to your apoapsis. If you pass it, turn slightly upwards to cancel a vertical speed. If your apoapsis starts running away from you, you can either lower thrust or cut thrust completely and coast a bit closer. And if things go well, you will reach a stable orbit. Pat yourself on the back, you've done it! So let's recap. You have to balance speed to minimize gravity and air resistance losses. You have to start your gravity turn at 10 kilometers and finish at 32 kilometers. Always launch west, and you have to balance your vertical speed when circularizing. And that's it. I hope this video has helped, and I will see you out there.